Alright, Epic uploaded the Quayleg video, and here I am on the Gaping Dragon. I'm a little bit behind, I have to hustle up, so here's my stats. I upgraded the Scimitar to plus 5, Leather Shield to plus 5, I have the Wanderer stuff still not upgraded, the Wolf Ring, and the Rusted Iron Ring. So that's everything, um, and here's the Gaping Dragon. Also, I tried Sif earlier, bad idea, he kicked my ass a lot, I gave up, I came here. <laughs> So, we'll see how this goes. Oh, also I added poop to my inventory, so... It's not working on this boss, though. It doesn't seem like uh, status ailments actually work on this boss period, to be honest. Because I tried throwing uh, poison, poison throwing knives at it, and really seemed like it was to no avail. Um, anyways, as far as the gaping dragon goes, this was probably the most intimidating boss that I first saw for Dark Souls. Um, when I actually got around to playing him, it was a different story. But, uh, like, when the game was first coming out and I saw this thing introduced, I was nervous, because it, like, as far as the arguments for, you know, uh, Dark Souls is gonna be so much harder than Demon Souls, this guy was a pretty, uh, pretty convincing bit of evidence to that claim. In the end, he wasn't honestly that bad, as I think many of us realized, but, I don't know. He's still a pretty cool boss, and if you're not careful, he can he can do some heavy damage to you. For sure. As with any of the bosses, really, but this this guy does it while being really, really freaky looking to boot. Like, you do not want to get grabbed by him, because if he starts chomping you up with those teeth, I mean that's that's not a good place to be. But um Yeah. So um, primarily just take out his tail first. That's usually my strategy. I, I don't like leaving his tail there to, uh, wag around and kick my ass. Because it's, it's one of the more dangerous aspects of this boss is, um, his tail. He can do the tail whip and just, it's, it's bad times all around. But yeah, otherwise just look out for the swiping, uh, look out for this jumping attack. Ah, sorry getting caught in rocks and you can't see anything. <laughs> and I can't see anything either, which is potentially even worse, because if he's starting up an attack and I can't really time it well, then unless I have, like, the sixth sense and I just have the force and I just blindfold myself and sense it coming. Which, I don't know. With some of the timing for these fights, I could probably do that, but... <laughs> I don't know. I'm not that good at the game. I, I wouldn't go through uh, Dark Souls blindfolded for sure. But yeah. Um, what else can I say about the Gaping Dragon? Hmm. Well, when... I forget if it was my brother or my girlfriend, but when they first saw this boss, they thought that it's no or that it's head like the alligator head at least that's what i think it looks like it looks like an alligator head to me they thought that it was its nose and i can kind of see that like the snout like i, I can understand why why they saw it that way but i, I just thought it was kind of funny but that's that's how they kind of saw it anyways here's here's this puke attack i, I don't even know what's up with this attack can't really damage you, even though you can see it, like, going past your character, as long as you're not, like, within vicinity of the general area of the Gaping Dragon, like, as long as you're far enough away, you, you should be cool. But, um, yeah. Sorry I'm using firebombs. Um, I, I don't know why I'm apologizing for that, but I just feel like, I don't know, firebombs are slightly lame tactic. I, I mean, I could be, you know, just pure meleeing it, and I'm, I'm not, I'm kind of I'm letting myself stay back and use firebombs, and, you know, I, I don't need to, but I just feel like it helps, so, so I'm just, I'm using them, you know. 
I apologize if, if that's really lame. But, um, yeah. To each his own. Anyways, pretty self-explanatory, I guess. Not really much else to say on this boss. I keep missing. That tail can be finicky to hit. Yeah, some of the tails in this game can be annoying, especially when they're just moving around and curling and all that stuff. It's, it's difficult to place a really good shot sometimes. Oh! Got hit by the, uh, by the splash damage of that attack. Alright. It's being pretty nice, though. I, I was going through some fights where he was constantly doing, like, this thing where he would just track me down wherever I was going, and he would he would just do this stomping attack over and over again, and he would not stop. And, and like, I couldn't get behind him, so I had to just kind of let him do that attack and then back off, and then, uh, and then I would try for a, uh, I'd try for a few firebombs while he was open, because I couldn't, I didn't even have time to get behind him when he kept doing that, so. Still, it's not the worst boss in the world. Just gotta hack away at him for a little while longer. Alright, I'm gonna back off, I'm getting a little bit cocky. Okay. Hoi-ya! Hoi-ya! Oh god, don't crush me! <laughs> I gotta finish it off fancy. Alright, I'll just... Yeah! I'll just run away as he collapses into nothingness. Whew. So that was the Gaping Dragon. Another boss that doesn't count to the official challenge, but... There you have it! And that's 25k for me. And some armor I'm not gonna use. Oh yeah. Alright, thank you for watching. Uh, next up is Quaylag. Yes, sir.